An interesting article was passed on to me that I think is right on the money. The title of the article from the uh, Ynet News is entitled, European Nations Discuss UN uh, Gaza Truce Resolution. And the subheading says, Diplomats say proposal likely to be a joint UN-EU effort will include opening of Gaza's borders, return of PA to Hamas-controlled territory, security assurances for Israel. And I will go ahead and read the article and then tell you how it uh, could be directly related to Bible prophecy. With Egyptian efforts to end the Gaza war collapsing, Britain, France, and Germany are discussing a possible Security Council resolution calling for a sustainable ceasefire and an international monitoring mission to ensure its implementation, UN diplomats said Thursday. One diplomat said both Israeli and Palestinian officials have privately suggested Security Council action uh, would help would be helpful in persuading their constituents to accept measures to end the conflict, which has killed more than 2,000 Palestinians and 67 people on the Israeli side. The message that we are getting from both sides is that it would be helpful to prescribe some elements to enable them to sell it uh, internally, the diplomat said. Diplomats said the resolution would include opening up Gaza's borders and a return of the Palestinian Authority to the territory now controlled by Hamas. It would also include security assurances for Israelis, including ways to prevent Hamas from acquiring more arms and building more tunnels. The resolution would incorporate a European Union offer to take charge of Gaza's border crossings. The International Monitoring and Verification mis uh, Mission would likely be a joint UN-EU effort, according to the diplomats, who spoke on condition of anonymity because uh, the discussions are private and sensitive. The diplomats said the three European countries have shared the elements of the possible resolution with council members, including Jordan, which has uh, circulated its own resolution calling for a ceasefire. But the officials emphasized the discussions are in the early stages and there is no time frame for introducing it. One diplomat said council members are wary of undermining efforts to revive the Egyptian-led uh, talks. He said some members are also warning about unforeseen consequences of the UN's most powerful body jumping in with a binding resolution on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. If either side violates the resolution, it could, it could lead to calls for the Security Council to impose punitive measures and some sort of escalation that is not in our uh, interest, the diplomat said. Now certainly we don't want to jump to any conclusions, but this sounds a lot like what I have been calling for and really essentially what I believe the Bible is calling for in Daniel 9.27. You know, for years I've been saying that at some point in time the United States is going to have to step down from this Palestinian uh, Hamas effort to bring peace and the European Union would have to come in. Because I believe the Bible is clear that it, uh, the country or block of nations that the Antichrist would lead would be the European Union. And if indeed the European Union and the UN is working together on a resolution or accord or whatever you want to call it, I believe this could very well be the beginning stages again of the European Union jumping into the Middle East peace accord with Israel and many. Now, right now, the three main players in the European Union are Britain, France, and Germany, who will lead this sustained ceasefire. And it should be noted that in the past, these ceasefires have had an, uh, a time limit attached for as high as 10 years. It would not shock me if, at the uh, very least that uh, this time limit for the ceasefire could be seven years. But I think for it to absolutely work, it would have to have the backing of the Arab League. And it would not shock me a bit if certain elements that aren't mentioned right now would be included. One, the creation of a Palestinian state within a, within a seven-year time frame. Two, the Arab League um, normalizing relations with Israel. And three, a joint effort in making strong this ceasefire proposal. And as I read earlier, it said diplomats said the resolution would include opening up Gaza's borders and a return to, of the Palestinian Authority to the territory. It would also include security assurances for uh, the Israelis, including ways to prevent Hamas from acquiring 
more arms and building more tunnels. The resolution would incorporate a European Union offer to take charge of Gaza's border crossings. And in order for any of these measures to be successful, the European Union would have to take a very strong militaristic stance against uh, any uh, breakage of the treaty or the ceasefire. So it can't be like uh, previous UN endeavors in which they come in and uh, turn tail and run the minute Hamas or Fatah begins to break the ceasefire, which, you know, of course, that's going to be tough to uh, monitor. But the Bible says that once the Antichrist does come forth, he will bring about this peace. And every born-again Christian should be looking at this with both eyes open and with curiosity because this very well could be the accord that the Antichrist will one day make strong. There's no doubt in my mind in order for this to be successful, whoever brings this ceasefire will have to make sure that it is implemented. And that is one of the key factors of what Daniel 9.27 does say, that the Antichrist would make strong a covenant and that he would be in charge of implementing it or confirming it. But before the Antichrist can come on the scene, the Bible says that the rapture must take, for, take place first. And once the rapture of the church takes place, that will clear the way for the rise of the Antichrist to take, uh, take part. And when he does rise, you have to remember, he will be unlike any ruler this world has ever known. Where suddenly this world will go from natural to a supernatural world. And some examples of supernatural would be angels will actually fly through the air presenting the gospel. The two witnesses will also come on the scene and perform miracles and also stop the rain for three and a half years. And to not be outdone, the Antichrist, the false prophet, will also do miracles. And a, he will cause a statue to speak. And I believe that he will supernaturally make this statue to speak. Who will command that uh, everyone is to worship the Antichrist or would be left out of the one world government. So tr to try to an attempt to make sense of the uh, world after the rapture takes place and the start of the tribulation period would be futile. So we could be looking at this taking place uh, very soon. And you have, if you haven't got a copy of my Tribulation Period Survival Guide, you need to do so. Not necessarily for yourself, because as Christians, we will not be here. But if you have not picked one up for your lost loved ones, which I have a feeling that the vast majority listening to this have not, I believe there's coming a time very soon that you'll be very sorry that you didn't. Don't leave your loved ones without a clear road map as to what they need to do. This book, along with the Bible, will help them to understand what is ahead and what they need to do. First of all, first and foremost, they need to give their life to the Lord. But right now, that's the same thing that you need to do if you don't know the Lord as Savior. So what I would challenge you, if you are not a Christian, that you need to make that decision today. Don't put it off because tomorrow could be too late. And don't take for granted that your lost loved ones, friends, and neighbors will know what to do once the rapture takes place. Because the Bible says that the vast majority of people here on earth will end up taking the mark of the Antichrist. So please take the necessary steps that will ensure that they at least have something in their hands when this momentous day comes. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.